Are you struggling with feeling stuck in your life journey? Does it seem as if the challenges or conflicts that you keep experiencing are on repeat? Healing through feeling could be your new way through to a more satisfying life. Now, here is the host of the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show, licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. Welcome, everyone. Oh, wow, that was really loud. Sorry. I have just been a bundle of energy, of nerves, of everything since I have been talking about spring and it being sprung and what I'm birthing and then the whole birthing process and what that all means. And so I'm going to be taking a lot of deep breaths. I have a lot of things that I want to say and share. And the biggest thing that I've gotten that keeps ruminating and and I did put into the Facebook group, like what is the biggest, what is keeping you awake at night? What are you ruminating on? What are you, what are you thinking about all the time? And the thing that I keep, that keeps coming to me is that I have to stop taking myself so seriously because at the end of the day, yes, I am important. I am unique. I am me and I come first and I have to put my own oxygen mask on first before I can take care of anybody else. Although even what I'm doing in general is not such a fucking big deal. I mean, it's just life and I'm living my life. And as long as I am living my life from the truest sense of authenticity and keeping my word and, you know, being with the four agreements, always doing my best, being impeccable with my word, not taking everything personally, and also not making assumptions. I mean, these are the four tenets that I've been talking about since the beginning of the podcast. And it is so quite often where I find myself. So thank you for tuning in. I just, I, I, I do what I do best, which is just jump right in. Thank you so much for listening to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols on the Inspired Choices Network. (sighs) Always, always learning and growing, always growing, always birthing something new. Even if it's just a new day, that's why I love the dawn. I love the first light. And we have so many incredible images that we've created in our own mind with regards to that. So just think, what what is that first light for you? When you're coming out of the darkness and there's just enough light that you can see. I started watching 1883. Um, on the Paramount Network. It's the precursor to Yellowstone. I haven't seen Yellowstone. However, I'm so intrigued by Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. And so they were out getting, um, rounding up cattle and it was, they had needed to start moving in the middle of the night. And so um, Tim McGraw's daughter in the show says, I can't see. And he just says, follow the horse in front of you and notice the sparking, the spark from the hooves, from their shoes on the rocks. And of course, you know, I'm assuming CGI put in, put in the sparks, although it was fascinating to me because there's always just enough light or a spark if you actually look for it. And there's always light to see, even in the darkness, You just need to look for it. So we're going to start with our meditation. And I invite you to find yourself in a comfortable seat using whatever it is that you need for yourself in order to prop yourself up or lay down, however you are most comfortable. So you can go where you need to go for you. So allow your eyes to gently close and 
your gaze to soften at your feet in front of you. Begin focusing on your breath. Inhale, exhale. Just follow the natural rhythm of your breath. Using this opportunity to acknowledge yourself and your journey. Think about the baby steps. Think about the huge leaps. Think about where you have been, where you are, and where you want to be without any judgment and without any worrying. Look at your present life as though it were a blooming flower. Visualize a little bud that hasn't yet bloomed. Create this most vivid image in your mind. There are many beautiful plants around you in this garden. Although one particular rose bush calls your attention, noticing all of the buds and turning your attention to one. This one bud is still enclosed in its green baby leaves, but at the very top is a radiantly colored point that can be seen. Focus on this image, holding it in the center of your awareness. It now, in a slow movement, imagine the leaves starting to separate, turning their points outwards and revealing the radiantly colored petals which are still closed. Now continuing to open until you can see the entire bud. As the petals begin to unfold, slowly separating until a fragrant, fully opened rose is seen. At this moment, try and smell the perfume of the rose with its own characteristic and unmistakable scent. Now imagine that a ray of sunlight shines on this rose, giving it light and warmth. Take a few moments to experience the sunlit rose. Now work your way down to the soil. What forms this soil for you? What's in your soil? What enrichment? does your soil need? You know. Allowing whatever feelings are coming up to come to the surface. Give them the space and the breath that they need and so richly deserve. Now placing a hand on your heart as you breathe, offering compassion and care for what is showing up for you right now. Continuing to allow yourself to step into your heart, 
as though within you, there is a silent, vast, open space. And that space within is peaceful. Now sensing, seeing, or feeling that space deep within you is a tender young shoot that is rising out of the earth. With tremendous courage and focus, it has summoned the energy to crack through that seed that once contained its life force and it's reaching directly up towards the light boldly determined to become a full mature plant, being nourished by the soil that is yours. Imagine that you are joyfully, lovingly, and consciously now standing guard over this shoot. from a loving, aware, and strong place. Anchor. Yourself. You're doing this with ease and remaining centered in your heart. Notice around you and the shoot are many beings of unconditional love. These may be your ancestors, your spiritual guides, beings of light, or angelic beings. You may sense some darkness may rise and fall around you. And the circle of light created by your love and the being supporting you to protect this tender young shoot Watch this shoot open, much like the rose on the rose bush. Watch it open. Watch it grow strong. All is well. You may want to whisper to it, you are safe and you will grow strong and thrive through unconditional love. What growth have you now experienced? Focus on the possibility of what's to come. Breathing into your heart as you do this, into the possibility of you being the shoot. Breathe out any doubt that you may have. Allow this energy from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Stay with this. Allow it to grow, allow it to anchor into the earth and be sent out to the cosmos. And when you are ready, take three big, deep, big breaths, inhaling. 
and exhaling. coming back into the room, back into this present moment, knowing that you are the shoot, always being nourished by your soil. And when you are ready, allowing your eyes to open, and thank you. When we come back, from break, we're going to talk more about birthing and what it all means. Thank you so much for listening to the Field to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, and birthing. What are you birthing? Yourself, actual humans, and everything in between. See you back in a moment. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show, with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols, you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols. And I am really so excited. This month has just been working me each week. This whole podcast, I, you know, I, like I've mentioned before, I take little baby steps and then I turn around and I look and see what I've done and being the butterfly and coming out of my cocoon and the things that I have said yes to and that I get to do and that I even have to do and then taking on all of my emotions, everyone else's emotions, discerning what's mine, what belongs to me, what doesn't. And I've been all over the goddamn place. I was so nauseous to the point where I felt I was just going to throw up on Friday. I I said yes to this year long training, and I I know I'm being very cryptic, and I'm going to now bring it all around. I have to stop taking myself so seriously. That's really what it comes down to. Yes. What I have to say is important because I'm important. I am unique. Although nothing that I really have to say is any different than anyone else's. There are no new ideas. This is the biggest thing that I've gotten with regards to birthing. So yes, I am birthing my idea. Although it's not necessarily a new idea. It's just going to be presented from me 
by me. So with a little bit of a, of a little twist to it, if you will. It's just how I see things. And I'm just gonna breathe. I am so grateful and I thank God universe that I always have a choice and that things are also always going to change. So I have a choice as to whether I'm gonna force the change or I have a choice as to whether I'm gonna go along with the change. And then once the change happens, I have a choice of as to how I'm going to react to it. So being in resistance, not being in resistance, and then what I'm going to make of it, what I'm going to do, to do with it. You know, what I do most days is I listen, to, I listen, and then I offer feedback, and I use others as a sounding board, and each day I'm birthing something myself and thank God each day is a new day and thank God each day I get to do something different or do the same if the same is working great until it no longer works then come up with something else the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result I get to birth not being insane wow that's a concept. <laughs> oh, man. This, this topic, this birthing, you know, I birthed three humans, and I know I've shared this before, and I had three of the easiest births. I took my head out of it. I allowed my body to do what it knew to do. And yes, I have a body that is made for birthing. I know not every woman does. Some women's hips are too close and therefore things don't always open and I get all that. And so, yes, I am unique. And yes, I'll even go as far as saying that, yes, I am lucky and yay me. And I am so grateful for myself, for my body, for it doing what it needed to do. And here's the other thing. You can get stuck in the birth canal. Many babies do. And you also have a choice as to how painful it is going to be. Because it will be painful. Birthing something new is painful. And I think, no, I think, I guess I think, and I know, I know that if we as human beings didn't feel any pain, that it wouldn't be hard won. I mean, birthing a human without any pain, if, if it was just so easy, we'd probably do it more often. Although there is, you know, the, the brain, we also then don't remember the pain because then we would also only then do it once. So our minds are incredible. Oh my goodness, how many times have I said that? Our minds, your mind, my mind is incredible. What we get to experience if we actually allow ourselves the full breath with which we can. So allowing ourselves to birth and not get stuck in the birth canal. And I have been stuck in the birth canal. And I'm ready. I have said yes, and yes, I'm appropriately scared shitless to share my, my own thoughts and my unique take on, on all the ideas for fear of being ridiculed, not understood, not enough, um, all of it, all normal human experiences in, and even knowing even knowing that fears can become self-fulfilling prophecies. So I'm sort of dancing on that edge of birthing because I 
do know what I have created for myself in terms of fear. And I've seen it in others. And I know I've talked about this. So I am still feeling the fear and doing it anyway and allowing myself the thought, although not ruminating on it, because that's where it just... <sighs> giving up the struggle, getting out of my own way and just allowing the process to unfold. So this is where I need your support. I need your support in just allowing the process to unfold. See, because if you can do it, then I can do it. And if I can do it, then you can do it. And this is all something that we are in together. Quite often I do have the song from High School Musical <laughs> playing in my head. We're all in this together because we are. There is no separation. We are one. We are. We are all unique pieces of the whole. And so now that it's spring, what unique piece of the whole are you birthing? I now get to show up even more, more as me. And that's really scary. And I know that's gonna turn a lot of people off. And I know it's also going to excite a lot of people. And so everywhere in there. And so is, is awesome and is great and I get to. And so this is where I am right here, right now in this present moment appropriately scared shitless for what I have said yes to. Acknowledging the pain, acknowledging your pain. So much, I'm having so many thoughts. Thank you so much for just listening to my rant because I had so many other things planned to, to talk about on today's show. And I am so grateful. I just am coming from a complete place of vulnerability and authenticity and openness. Because the day of the lone wolf is actually over. It is time that we all acknowledge our uniqueness and then go from here and stop the judging and stop the assuming. Let's ask for clarification. So please, if anything I have said needs questioning or needs more explaining so it makes sense for you so then you can apply it to your life and what you want to birth what did your flower look like what color was it what color were your petals were they red were they pink were they yellow were they orange were they white doesn't matter. Just what color was, what color from the meditation? And then what does that mean to you? I can tell you what some colors mean. Although at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's what it means to you. We're going to take another break. Thank you so much for listening to my rant. You're listening to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, and we're talking about birthing and the whole process and everything that it entails. And so when we come back from break, I'm going to continue on my roll. See you back in a couple of minutes. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. 
You'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, and thank you so much for listening to the Feel to Heal show on the Inspired Choices Network. And in the last segment, I was talking about birthing, and I found a quote by Steve Jobs, which is really where I was going. Um, creativity is just connecting things. So whenever someone uses their creativity to design something new, they're just connecting the dots and then connecting them in the most unusual but oddly useful of ways. That's what I was saying. Because there are really no new ideas. I mean, how many times have we heard, stop reinventing the wheel? It's already been invented, although they've improved on them. They've made them thicker. They've made them thinner. They've made them bigger or smaller, depending on what they were needed for. Although the wheel itself hasn't changed. So many thoughts going through my head right now. And you are the sum of all of your experiences, just like I am the sum of all of my experiences. In the lifespan, there's something that happens as we, be, as we learn and grow. It's called scaffolding. And it's literally that. It's building upon things that you've learned to then build upon another skill and then another skill and then another skill. And that's really what's going on in the brain. We're learning, we're building, and, and we need to follow steps. We need to go through the stages in order to learn, in order to grow, in order to get to that place where we think we want to go. And so you are the sum of all of your experiences. And each thing that you've learned, you're going, you just keep building. And let's just keep building. And that's where you get to look back at the baby steps. Because to me, that's sort of the scaffolding. Because with each baby step, I'm now making an assumption. So please correct me if I'm wrong, that you learned something. That you learned something from that stage or from that step. And that's then what hasn't propelled you to move forward again, because with each experience is the opportunity to learn, however small or big. And here's what I think is one of the most important things that we as human beings need to always remember even if this is painful and even if it sucks, it's actually happening for your highest good. Each lesson or each experience 
or each thought and feeling that you are having is happening for you, not to you. If you allow things to happen for you, the birthing process will go so much easier. The pain comes when you allow yourself to truly get lost in the belief that everything is happening to you, that you are the victim of yourself even. Forget it, forget the outside world. Cause yes, that's always happening. Although stop being a victim of yourself. And that's where I was. That's what I was releasing in the last segment. That's what my, my overwhelming sense is letting go of me taking myself so seriously. That's just me being a victim of me. Yes, I am unique and I get to be me and thank God there is no one else like me. Except we are all so similar. There is a finite amount of themes. There's a finite amount of thoughts and feelings truly that one can have about themselves. There's so many similes and metaphors and all these wonderful things in our language is so incredible what we can create for ourselves in our own heads and the things that we can birth. So are you birthing for yourself a soft place to land? Are you creating yourself for yourself the peace, the satisfaction, and the success that you actually want, that is actually your birthright? And I'm not saying your birthright from an egoic place. It's your birthright as a human being. You have so much power over what you can create for yourself. Again, the little shoot, pushing through, being in the enriched soil. You can create the soil. You can nourish it yourself. So you're going to nourish it with thoughts that are propelling you forward? Are you going to put yourself into experiences that no matter what, you will learn from, that you can see the beauty of the experience, even if it fucking sucked, even if it was fucking painful, even if it was not what you signed up for, not what you wanted, none of it. Because life is happening for you, not to you. So what are you going to create for you? You have so much more control than you think you do. (sighs) Going through my notes. This was one of the shows where I knew I had a lot to say, didn't know where it was going to all come from. Embrace yourself. Allow yourself to just be. Be who you are. Be who you want to be. Let go of all the useless thoughts and experiences that are not supporting you in the birthing process, that are holding you back, that are causing 
the pain and the struggle. It's all there for you. It is all there for you. So here, Laura Pryor, I found this on the internet, giving birth to new ideas, so some tips for creative conception. I am quoting her, Laura Pryor. Pretty much everyone who works in the creative field has gotten the question, how do you come up with your ideas? And a lot of times our only answer is a shrug beats me. It is true that the creative process varies from person to person, but it's not as big of a mystery as we'd like to think. So creating new ideas is a lot like giving birth, although it can be a lot less painful. And we all know how that works. So step one, foreplay, information gathering. Like foreplay, research is a step that many of us are tempted to actually skip. We want to just go straight forward to the fun part. That's why foreplay doesn't, foreplay is sometimes <laughs> what gets skipped. Although if there's one thing that I have learned by watching so many of you manifesting generators is don't skip the steps. Go with the steps. Go in whatever order you like. However, don't skip them because quite often what ends up happening is you have to go back. <sighs> There's also no rushing the process allowing it to happen in its own time is of utmost importance. So step two, conception. The working stage, back to Laura Pryor. Now it's time to get down to it. So now look at all the information that you've gathered from all different angles and attitudes, so from all your different thoughts and feelings. So what happens? What has happened to you, for you to, to need this product? For you, what has happened for you to need you? So what would happen after you used this? After you showed up as you or a different version of yourself based on the fact that you're the sum of all of your experiences. Stop doing the same thing over and over again. Step three, gestation, the waiting game. So once you've thought and thought and thought for a really long time, you're gonna let it percolate in your subconscious. That's why I asked you, what is it that you're ruminating on? So for me, not taking myself so seriously. Boy, boy, have I tried to work on something else and come back. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the last two stages, which is the actual labor and then birth and rebirth. Thank you so much for listening today. And I promise in the next segment, I will wrap it all up, wrap it all up for you in a pretty little bow. Thank you so much. See you back in a moment. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show, 
with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. You'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoyield.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show. Myself, Sharon Nichols on the Inspired Choices Network, and we've been talking about birthing and the five stages um, for of birthing. And the, the first one being foreplay, the second one, the conception, the actual coming together, literally, okay. and gestation, the allowing it to percolate, giving yourself the time. So I've given myself a whole month to percolate this, to birthing. And so I'm now getting back to work, which is the labor. And this is work. This is my labor of love. Me showing up as me, me being in the present moment always, or at least for an hour, I'm being facetious. I'm joking. I get to be me and I get to be present even when I'm not. I reel myself back in. I do have a lot of voices in my head. And so, yes, some may think I'm crazy. Um, but one of the voices is bring yourself back to your, to your breath. Bring yourself back to the present moment. Because here's the thing. 80% of the time, I'm 100%. Because the other 20, I allow myself to be human. And so, therefore, I'm going off. And then I bring myself back. And I apologize when appropriate, when I've gone off course, even in my head, I come back and I apologize. I'm so sorry. I did not hear what you just said. I totally went there. I would so appreciate it if you could repeat what you just said. So I will get it this time. And then I receive a breath and here I am back to the present. And here we are in the final stage, birth, and then after birth. So now that I've refined my idea, and I'm now sharing it with others, I'm now going to wrap it all up in a beautiful little bow. So I'm not going to take myself so seriously. I'm going to continue to grow and be in the present moment and each day birth myself and whatever that looks like. And I'm going to choose for it not to be painful or as painful as it has been. I'm not gonna take myself so seriously, meaning that I no longer need to be a victim of myself. Because I have a funny suspicion that if I stop being a victim of myself, it'll be a whole hell of a lot easier for me not to be a victim of others. Hmm. Just going to think on that one for a while. I'm also going to choose not to resist walking this path that I have said yes to. Because again, that only just brings on more pain. An affirmation. I am open to surrendering to the creations that are wanting to be birthed through me. 
may I be of service in a way that delights my mind, my body, and my soul. Please use me. Please lead me. Please show me the way. Fully embracing the person that I am becoming and honoring the person I am through all the experiences and all of the lessons that have gotten me here. We are all blossoms rooted in the soil. We give ourselves permission to be wherever we are in our own process, in our own growth, in our own development. And now each week we get to grow. Each day we get to grow. Each moment we get to practice being present or just being present. And we have a choice as to how much pressure we are going to put on ourselves. The only pressure that we actually need is in the birthing. It's the pressure to push through, to come out. Once we're out, it's just about growing. There doesn't need to be any pressure. Think about that one. Whew, that one just blew my mind. We are constantly learning and growing. And the biggest thing is that we need to give ourselves permission to not know everything, to go back to the conception stage, the learning, the joining together, the gathering of information. And no matter what, don't expect yourself to be anywhere other than where you are. Accept where you are. Anticipate that there will be another phase, that there will be change. So be prepared for when it arrives. And please, above all else, be compassionate with yourself and others, regardless of where you are and they are on their journey. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me of this birthing process. I, I cannot thank you enough for giving me the space with which to birth myself. Thank you so much for listening, for embracing, for allowing me to just be me. Patience, patience for yourself, patience for everyone around you, patience is so hard to practice, but please give yourself the depth and the breath with which to do that. So this spring, Fully embrace the person you're becoming and honor the person and experiences that have got you here because we are all blossoms rooted in the soil. Until next time, you might as well be you because everyone else is taken. Thank you so much for listening to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon. Thank you for choosing to listen to the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show. Sharon Nichols will return next Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspireChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, give up the struggle, feel all you need to feel, and make this week your best one yet.